Dixie D'Amelio and Noah Beck are clapping back at rumors that their relationship is fake. Here's everything we know. I'm Gina Rosenberg. I'm Gabby Conti, and this is your 24-7 Celebrity News. Alex Cooper of the popular Barstool Sports podcast, Call Her Daddy, recently was on Josh Richards and Dave Portnoy's podcast, BFFs, where she claimed that Dixie and Noah's relationship is fake. And of course, Doa stands are not here for it. On the podcast, Alex said, quote, Noah Beck, I just can't because of the information I'm hearing about him and his girlfriend. I just don't like it when people fake relationships for the internet. That pisses me the F off. And that stirred up quite a lot of drama over the weekend. Yes. Um, I like Alex Cooper. I'm a fan, Le like love the podcast. However, when she said this, I was like, oh girl, stay in your lane. Um, I just feel like the TikTok world, the TikTok fandom is too big for anyone who really doesn't know the hard cold facts. Um, yeah, not only the hard cold facts, also like, do you know them? Like Alex, yeah. have you ever met Dixie? Have you ever met Noah? Do you really know the ins and outs of their relationship? Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's not her turf. That's not what she covers on her podcast. I mean, if you want to talk about dating advice or how to get your sugar daddy to give you more money, which I feel like is some of the things we talk about. Dixie and Noah adorably responded to the accusation by duetting with Alex's soundbite from the podcast as she says that Dixie and Noah's relationship is fake. The couple reveals that they are just chilling in bed together. Noah is rocking an under eye mask while Noah holds Dixie's stuffed cow. James Charles even came to Doa's defense, commenting on TikTok Room's post of this clip saying, out of all the relationships that could be fake for clout, Noah and Dixie is not, LOL. Yeah. Definitely not. I just don't really see Charlie and Dixie doing the whole fake relationship thing. I think they're too real. I think they're too chill. You know what I mean? Like they're not. Well, and also the yeah, you're right. Like stay in your lane. Um, I, and also yeah, that Charlie and Dixie. They're too cool. Uh, they're too cool. Chill. They're too real. Uh, Dixie has been talking also about like how it just the reason why she even like hid her relationship right. from no of Noah of, with Noah from the public was not because it was a fake relationship but because she didn't want this drama specifically Absolutely. what Alex did she didn't want people weighing in with their opinion she wanted to have her own private relationship obviously Dixie realizes that the the bigger her star grows the more realistic she the more like open she has to be yeah. about her love life. Um, I mean, she recently said on her podcast how she was a little upset when Noah ended up spilling the tea right. about their relationship, yeah. but it's, Which, yeah. It was very interesting, because she goes, you know, it, it really like helped clear things up for me when it comes to celebrity relationships. Right, right. She goes, when when everyone gets involved, everyone's everyone has their opinions and that's fine. However, it does affect the relationship. It does, it puts a pressure on the yeah. relationship. Um, it's a lot, and I mean, we're seeing this firsthand right now with Bryce and Addison, like they're getting a lot of backlash yeah. for their, their relationship and their PDA, and Addison is like saying, look, I'm happy, she's turning her co comments off. Like, it gets yeah. to that point, so yeah, I agree. I think people weighing in, I mean, this also seemed, this the sound bite seemed to be coming out of nowhere. I'm also looking at Josh Richards for not like weighing in because if Where anyone- Where are you at, bro? Yeah, if anyone could have an opinion about this relationship, it's Josh Richards who like knows Noah Absolutely. very well. Um, so I do think that's very interesting. Yes. So then the BFFs podcast, they tried to use this drama to make more content for their podcast as they commented on Dixie's TikTok saying, sounds like you guys should come on the pod and discuss. To which Dixie replied, no thanks, exclamation point. Dixie and Noah don't have to defend their relationship as the two appear to be very happy. Dixie recently opened up about her relationship with Noah on her own podcast, Two Chicks, with, which she hosts with her sister, Charlie D'Amelio, saying that being public about her relationship with Noah has been really cool, but Dixie admitted that she didn't want her relationship to go public the way it did because quote as she said once your relationship is out there on the internet everyone's opinion gets involved and that can actually mess up the relationship she went on to say how hard it is being in a public relationship like with griffin in the past and how it's hard to not read the comments about her relationship which absolutely is exactly what um bryce hall and addison ray are dealing with right now totally the same thing um yeah and I, and I feel like uh just back to alexandra cooper i want to say like her thinking that this is fake or whatever, just putting her opinion out there. It's like, no one is like down Alexandra Cooper's no. like throat about her relationships. But like, I just wish she could have taken a step back and been like, you know what, I am a public, public figure. I don't want people constantly making comments and accusations about a relationship I would be having. But then it's the same thing. It's like these these um, influencers who really are not in the TikTok world, almost yeah, using the TikTokers totally. for clout in a way. Because you know, like if she didn't say anything about Dixie and Noah, if that soundbite wasn't there, right. 
probably no one would be talking about her right now. Also, yeah, totally. And you know, she hits an older demographic. Yeah, she obviously. Does. It's not so the same audience. Now all these young kids are like, who's Alexandra Cooper? Yeah. And like, oh wait. Well, it's the same with Dave Portnoy. Like no one, you yeah. know, he's not really in the TikTok world. He's aligning right. himself with TikTokers like Josh Richards because he wants that younger audience as they get older yeah. to be following his content on Barstools. I totally, I get Dave Portnoy more. more yeah. Because he's like the broy guy. Yeah. He kind of matches the Sway LA vibe. Yeah. Um, but yeah. He's like their older brother. Well, yeah. guys, what do you think is going on here? Do you, uh, what do you think about the accusations that Dixie and Noah's relationship is fake and about uh, BFF's podcast uh, recent episode? Let us know. I'm Gabby Conti. I'm Jana Rosenberg. And follow us here at Hollywire for your 24-7 celebrity news.